everybody, it's Deb from Dandy Art Gallery. <clears throat> Today I have a 16 by 20 inch canvas. Um, I've been watching a lot of Gail Burston and her channel is Gail Burston Life and Splatters to get inspiration for this uh, painting today. And I will list her channel name in the description. But she does a lot of schmears and swirls. And uh, I'm going to give that a try today. Uh, let's go over my paints first of all. My base coat is going to be my house paint, color place, uh, satin uh, house paint. And I did mix that with some Floetrol and water. Um, the rest of my paints are a lot of metallics today. Folk art, yeah, bronze. And Amsterdam copper. And a combination for the gold. They're both the folk art. One is the treasure gold, majestic gold, and the other is the treasure gold, regular gold. They do have a little bit different hue to them, so I did mix those together. My last color is a color that I made up. It's a burgundy color, a deep burgundy. It's a combination of four paints. I will have that in the description but it's uh, basically the Rust-Oleum Metallic Accents Metallic Ruby. And then I added just a little bit of uh, Am Amsterdam Van Dyke Brown, Master's Touch Phalo Blue, and last lastly, Modern Masters uh, Metallic Black Pearl. And let me show you that color. I think it turned out really, really pretty. Very deep, dark burgundy color. And all my paints today were mixed two parts Floetrol to one part paint. I did thin them with some water. And then my swipe color, and I'm going to be using just these little uh, cards that I cut up here, these little plastic cards. Um, is Amsterdam Oxide Black, and it was uh, four parts of Floetrol to one part of this Oxide Black. So what I'm going to do is stop the camera, I'm going to put down my base coat, take care of my paints, and then I'll get you back and we'll start painting. Okay, everybody, I'm back. I have my base coat of my uh, house paint down. And I forgot to mention no silicone used today in any of my paints. And if you watched my last video, I did like a ribbon pour. That's how I'm going to lay my paints down today. And uh, so let's get started. I'm going to start with the gold. And lately I've just been wanting to leave a little bit more negative space on my paintings. So we'll just go with that. Maybe put a little bit more up in here. And we'll try the copper. And the bronze. You can probably hear our neighbor's dog barking there. We have new neighbors and apparently they have a dog. Haven't met the dog yet. And lastly, I'm going to lay down that deep burgundy color that I made up. And I'm just hoping it really plays well with all the other paints. 
very rich color. Okay. And I think I will give a torch before I start any tipping. Even though there is quite a bit of base coat down, I am going to add just a little bit more just to help the paint move. Okay, I think that's good. So let's just start the tipping and I hope that you can see most of this. If it gets out of camera, I do apologize. Take it off that edge. Just going to swing it around and let that paint move. We'll take it off this edge and bring it back. And like I said, I would like to leave some negative space here today. So I think I'll start with that. So far it looks really pretty. And I think I will give it a torch before I start. With my black paint and smearing it a little bit. Okay, and what I'm going to do is just dunk my little cards in my black paint here. And just see what kind of effects I get here. That's very pretty. See all those cells I got up there? And I'll wipe my little swipe tool off here in between swipes. And I am going to continue this down this way. It's very fun to play with paint like this. When I want a thinner line, I've got my little card on an angle like that, just with the tip. 
and then when I get out where I want it to be thicker I pull it down and there I got some of that burgundy color with that little swipe and it's really pretty so I think I'm going to try that again Try it this way. Really like the effects this is giving. Just going to go play with this a little bit more here. Again, if you haven't checked her out yet, check out Gail Burstyn, Life in Splatters. This is her recipe for this um, Amsterdam paint in Floetrol. And it's working really well bringing up these, bringing up these cells. will actually run run right through here that turned out very nice and a thin one in here Just a few more, I think, and then I'll be done. Really liking how this is turning out here.
and one just to break this up here a little bit. Okay, I think I'll give it a torch and then we'll get you down. Oh, I do want to just do a little bit of tip here, just to incorporate, just to incorporate this a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to give it a torch and then I'll get you down for a close up. You can tell me what you think. And I think that these natural cells I'm getting here is from the house paint and the Floetrol combination. Okay, let's get you down for a close-up. Just think of this turned out really, really pretty. Okay, everybody, here we are for our close-up. This is the upper left-hand corner. And you can just see those really pretty cells where I, where I ran that black through. I'm definitely going to be doing that again. And here you can see where I ran it through the burgundy. So pretty. And we're coming down to the lower left-hand corner. And here's those natural cells I was telling you about from the house paint and the flow trowel. I'm going to take you over the whole painting because it just turned out so nice. This is a pretty area up in here. And there's some of that negative space. That bronze almost looks green. Some of the natural cells. And then some of the cells that I made. And this is the upper right hand corner here. Just going down the right hand side. Pretty in there. And the lower right hand side. Okay, so let me know what you think of this video. Give me a thumbs up if you like it and share it. Make sure you ring the bell, choose all. So you know next time I do post a new video, subscribe if you haven't, that would be awesome. And until next time, take care everybody. Bye for now.